Day this week. Winfrey Owen OKTN News. Further afield, President William Ruto has called for an unconditional ceasefire in the ongoing conflict in Sudan. Ruto, who chaired a meeting of IGAD Quartet heads of state and government of Ethiopia, Djibouti, South Sudan and Ethiopia, held in Addis Ababa, asked the warring groups of Sudan armed forces and the rapid support forces to establish a humanitarian corridor for victims of the conflict to access services. Jeff Kirui has the details. Governmental Authority on Development of Eastern Africa, IGAD, has recommended a raft of measures in the ongoing peace process in the conflict-torn Sudan. The meeting chaired by Kenya's President William Ruto and attended by Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abi Hamid, Djibouti's Foreign Affairs Minister, South Sudan representatives as well as parties representing the rival groups in Sudan conflict called on the Sudan Armed Forces and the Rapid Support Forces for a ceasefire to enable resumption of the final phase of the political peace process. Our meeting needs to pave way for an unconditional ceasefire that facilitates unhindered humanitarian access and ensures protection of civilians, stops loss of life, destruction of property and critical infrastructure and enables the people of Sudan to access public services. And I recommend as follows. Track one, establishment of safe humanitarian corridors. Two, mediation between the leadership of SAF and RSF so that we can stop the war. And number three, commencing all inclusive dialogue aimed at restoring Sudan to democratic governance. We reiterate that multiple, simultaneous, competing and sometimes conflicting peace initiatives needs to be avoided. On Saturday, a Sudanese airstrike is reported to have killed 22 people, injuring many others in the ongoing fight to take control of Sudan's capital, Khartoum. We are witness to its devastating impact on the people, on Sudan, and on the region. To date, the number of displaced individuals have surpassed the 2.9 million. More than 2.2 million people are internally displaced, while over 640,000 have sought refuge in neighboring countries. The ongoing conflict in Sudan has spread to the western part of Darfur that risks reigniting the civil war that began in 2003. The atrocities in Darfur are alarming. The targeted interracial attacks are particularly concerning as they steadily spiral into a humanitarian catastrophe. Our meeting must address this unfolding situation. The conflict in Sudan began after the head of the Sudan Armed Forces General Abdel Fattah al-Buran and the head of the Rapid Support Forces General Mohammed Dagalo fell out over the future of the country. Jeff Kirui, KTN News. Angry parents affected by Finland education scam in Wasingishu County stormed the Kapseret sub-county office seeking an audience with